Hey, what's up everybody? It's Jason from Straight Edge Knives. Hey, today we got another video for you, another knife review. And today it's going to be on the Tops MSF 4.0 folder. And uh, I got to tell you guys, I've been carrying this knife now for about uh, nine months. And I've carried it just about every day. Um, I love this little knife. It's great. It's a great EDC pocket knife. Um, let's get you some specs here really quick. And get a look at this blade. Bam, there it is. It's a nice scandy grind blade. Uh, great for slicing. Uh, let's see here. We got a blade length of 3.25 inches, an overall length of 7.38. Uh, the cutting edge is 3.13. Uh, your closed length is 4.25. Uh, you have a blade thickness of 0.12. Uh, the blade still is N690CO. It's a cobalt vandium material. Uh, handle, you got a tan canvas micarta with a weight of 3.5 ounces. And this was designed by Leo Espinoza over at Tops. Uh, but it was a collaboration knife that they did with uh, Mazarin Knives, uh, which was made in Italy. Um, these are made in Italy. It's one of the only knives, I believe, that isn't made in the USA by Tops. Um, Tops is primarily a fixed blade company, and they do have a few folders. And I think this was one of the first ones they did. So they had to team up, I believe with Mazarin to do it. Um, I could be wrong on that though. Uh, if I am, please, you know, correct me in the comments and uh, Leo, sorry if I messed that up. Um, but yeah, they do have a few other folders that I do know they make in house, but this one is specifically made by Mazarin in Italy. Uh, but it doesn't really matter because it's an awesome knife. Um, like I said, I carry this thing every day. It's really light, um, carries well. It's got a nice, action to it as you see there just pops right open it's not a most like super drop shetty blade is like some people like to have them um but it, it will drop shut if you work it a little bit but it is really easy to close up and that's how i usually do it all the time right there just flip it do it with my thumb pops right back open um it does it does have a reversible pocket clip this pocket clip is nice um doesn't catch on my pocket at all. Um, it's very strong. I've caught this part a couple of times on chairs. I tend to do that with pretty much every folding knife. But when I do, usually I wind up bending the clips, and this one hasn't bent at all. It's stayed strong. Um, if you wanted something to be a little bit more drop sheddier, like where you just, you could loosen this pin a little bit. But if you did, I think you might run the risk of getting a little side to side wobble. And a little front to back, possibly. As it sits right now, there's no side to side, no no rocker lock or lock rock or whatever you want to call it. You can see here, it's got nice lock up on it. It's very easy to get to the lock lock bar. Get your finger in there, get it closed. Very nice. Carries very well. The slipper is smooth. There's no jimping on it, but honestly, you don't really need it the way the the way it is. I don't think you need jimping on it at all. Uh, let's do some size comparisons here real quick. Let's get this puppy open, set her down right there. Uh, let's got the Civivi Banneret. Set those so you guys get a look at that. Uh, even uh, possibly pop in the Cinesis there. Get a nice little, you know, kind of get small, medium, large there, so to speak. Um, let's get that closed up, get that out of the way. You know, forgive me guys if... Uh, my products seem a little out of place sometimes. I'm um, actually, I just got a new camera mount so I can give you guys this nice top down look at these things and um, playing around with the camera angles a little bit. And so sometimes it might seem like I'm way off here or here. So I'm trying to keep it in the middle. Um, we also have a cold still a the medium size. You can see there how it lines up. Um, Close that up. My luck, I'll stab myself. We have a Cold Steel Recon 1. This is an older one. I've had this puppy for about 15 years, and you can see I've put some work in on it. Um, obviously, it's a full-size folder, so it's definitely going to be bigger than the MSF. Uh, Want to go a little bit crazy. we got the Civivi Bull Mastiff. Obviously, you can tell the Bull Mastiff is a ginormous knife compared to the MSF. And... Last one I have that's about the same size. Got this kind of Walmart Christmas special that was like, I don't know, $10 in some kind of a pack or something. Um, as you can see, it lines up pretty much almost the same size as the MSF. 
but I can tell you this is a heavy knife. This thing's got all steel construction, so it's kind of definitely got a lot more weight to it. Um, you know, I might actually wind up doing a review on this too, just because for being a ten dollar knife, it's pretty damn solid. Um, but anyway, we're here about the MSF. Got some fingerprints on there, but yeah, if you guys are interested in this knife, take a look around on uh, they the MSRP on these is like one hundred fifty dollars. But I, if you go look around at like Blade HQ, Knife Center, uh, GP Knives, places like that, Amazon, uh, you can find this knife. You know for ninety nine ninety dollars sometimes like that and that's about the general price range i see it listed at on those websites uh but i'm sure if you hunt around especially with uh christmas coming up here pretty soon i'm sure you can find a probably a killer deal on these but uh there it is beautiful knife got a nice action to it oh i didn't i forgot to mention this does have a uh, ceramic uh cage ceramic bearings so that's why the action is actually pretty damn smooth on this i really like it um even out of the box, it was very smooth. Um, just nice, easy, easy to carry. And they, see, I wear extra large gloves and mecha like mechanics gloves. Fits my hand nicely. You can see there, it comes all the way down to the end. If you had to reverse grip it, it's got a nice thing. And the flipper tab does create like a nice kind of protection. Um, I don't have any hot spots on this knife when I use it. Um, it feels really good. Uh, this does, doesn't rub my hand raw at all or anything like that. Um, it's nice and rounded off here on the side. So very, very, very nice, very well-made knife. Um, this pocket clip doesn't irritate my hand at all when I'm holding it, uh, even when I'm left-handed. Even when I'm left-handed, my fingers, my fingers just kind of gently go right over the top of it. There's no sharp edges on the clip either, so it doesn't bother my fingers. Um, but very, very nice knife. Um, if you guys are interested... Go look around, find yourself one, get it for a loved one for Christmas, get it for yourself, and I don't think you'll be disappointed. The Tops MSF 4.0 folder. Thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you like the video, please hit like. Please hit subscribe if you haven't already. Um, helps out the channel. It helps it grow. The bigger it grows, the uh, more I'll be able to bring you guys knife reviews. <laughs> uh, but nah, I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. I never thought I would have five viewers, much less what I think I'm at like 480 right now. Uh, so thank you for, if you subscribe, thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't done so already, I have an Instagram account, uh, at straight edge knives, go, uh, find that Instagram account, follow that for, I'm doing a lot of photos and like little reels and stuff on knives over there as well. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate y'all watching. I just stumbled over that. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all watching. <laughs> stay safe. Stay sharp. Have a good one. We'll catch you next time.